And now to a Fox 61 exclusive, the family of 44-year-old Luis Rodriguez remembering him in a memorial service calling for action. Fox 61's Brian Didlake has more. The family says that this incident really broke them down, but with support from the neighborhood community, they hope that they can get justice for their loved one. What are we going to tell his son? How are we going to explain to his son that daddy's not going to come home to see him anymore? And Ais Soto says it was her brother, 44-year-old Louis Rodriguez, or as his family calls him, Danny, that was killed this past Thursday after being struck by a speeding vehicle along Weathersfield Avenue. And then his body flew all the way over here and it was found right there, headless. His head was found like almost 10 feet away from his body, destroyed. I had to identify him by seeing his tattoos and half of his face. Soto says this incident has left her family in shambles, asking one question, why? I keep crying. I can't eat. I'm up all night. My family's telling me to try to rest, but I can't because I'm not going to see my brother. I'm not going to see him again. Police say a suspect vehicle was found the same night of the incident, but the driver is still missing. Preliminary investigations reveal a white Audi and a dark colored SUV were weaving in and out of traffic before hitting and killing Rodriguez. The community says enough is enough and are calling for more enforcement in the area. We need more vigilance here from the police. We need more cameras. They can put cameras out here. This is a very um, unique spot in that is a conduit from Weathersfield to downtown to Rocky Hill. So this is a very busy street that needs to have more presence. Because nobody else should die. Pedestrians are not speed bumps. They're people with family, with goals, with dreams. This isn't fair. With Rodriguez gone, the family says the world said goodbye to a good man too soon. He wasn't from the street. He used to help me like with churches. Um, I sigue siendo Dios, it's the church that we unite with my friend to feed the homeless like, during Christmas. Me and my brother, we couldn't have dinner that Christmas, and so we made sure that we fed people out there first. That's the kind of brother, that's the kind of person he was. Now, police are still investigating this incident. If you have any information, you are encouraged to call police, and the family does tell us that we can expect more demonstrations to be held in the future. We're in Hartford, Brian Dittlake, Fox 61 News.